with my website at its core it's a very visually appealing and just easy to use website that you can use, you know, really easily on a smartphone or something. And just get the numbers that you want. You know, maybe you're uh, you're curious about, you know, you're checking up on your family just all around the world and everything is just all in one place. You know, it's very easy to access. You know, you visit it on a smartphone. The first thing you see is just, you know, the total infected, you know, total disease, all that kind of information is just right in front of you. Um, and then there's other pages like the wiki and stuff. But, you know, I mean, like I created this website because I found it just really hard to just find the information I wanted to. I mean, I started this back in like, you know, late December, early kind of January times when there was just absolutely nobody talking about this. And, you know, if I wanted the most up-to-date numbers, I'd have to go to kind of like local Chinese government websites or I could read like news articles, but they were mostly out of date by the time I read them anyways. So, you know, I thought I could just, you know, do a faster and better job and I just kind of pulled everything together and, um, you know, just made a nicer looking website, uh, you know, that was in English and you can translate it into whatever language you want. Yeah, I mean, you know, I never expected the virus to become a global pandemic or my website to become so popular. My website, you know, is only like, I think today it's actually 47%, you know, from the USA. Uh, you know, 8% is from Germany um, in terms of traffic. So, you know, it's very interesting. Um, and, you know, every single day I get at least one visitor from every single country. I mean, even Greenland and the Congo are visiting my website. It's, it's pretty wild. biggest things about ID Tech is that we made a bunch of projects and stuff. You know, I see a lot of people trying to learn programming and stuff and they just watch these like 14 hour long programming tutorials they really buy some massive book from Amazon. But, you know, you're not going to really learn much just doing the same kind of to do app that you do in these YouTube videos. Um, and I think what a really cool thing that we did at ID Tech was, you know, we made these big projects and we had like flash drives at the end where we got to like keep them and stuff. And I think just being able to work on whatever project we wanted to. So I think in like my 3D modeling one, for example, I made some kind of Star Trek animation sequence where I learned how to animate like the stars. Um, and I also learned how to make like the actual model and then stretch it out. Um, so that kind of stuff was, uh, was really cool. And I think being able to work on those individual projects and stuff, um, you know, is a great way to learn more than just, you know, mindlessly following tutorials and stuff. So um, I think uh, that's a cool skill I learned. that, you know, I inspire more people that, you know, more than just technology, they just use all kinds of things, more than just the coronavirus. I mean, I think that, you know, there's a lot of really cool things that young people can do for the world. And, you know, there's a lot more problems than just the coronavirus. So, you know, I hope that, you know, some other kid, you know, maybe just gets the, you know, the last edge of motivation he needs to actually, you know, start working on a, a cool project. Um, you know, I think that there could be a lot of really cool things done in the world if, you know, a lot more young people, you know, just, uh, you know, had more easy access to just kind of learning. Um, you know, more technology things and just all kinds of stuff in general.